What's up everyone, it's your girl Brain Schnee and today I'm going to be doing um, a couple of unboxings and one unwrapping for you or unpackaging for you. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I got these in the mail today so I was so excited to do a video. So here I am today doing a video but anyways. <laughs> this is from uh, Book Gizmo. It is the Mean Girls box that I got. Um, it was like a special box that they did. Sorry, I'm blocking my address <laughs> on here. But as you can see, Mean Girls and you got Maleficent on the box, which I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, so let's see what they got inside. If I can open it. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like on the inside of the box. Purple and white. Oh my goodness. And it says, thank you for ordering the Villains box. As a special thank you, use coupon code to save 15% off on any bookgizmo.com purchase. So I got this card. So it looks like the inside. Ooh, look at that. All right, first I see it looks like a bracelet. And it says, off with their heads. <laughs> okay, so we should know what this is. Um, Alice in Wonderland. And that's pretty. It got the little heart and the crown. Right there, there's the crown. Ugh, trying to get a better look at it. See the crown? It says off with their heads. And then it has the heart. Sorry, you can't really get a good view of it, but there you go. It's really pretty. And this is really nice like that is really nice off with their heads so that's pretty cool then we have a pen it says no rest for the wicked and everyone knows that that's Snow White's stepmother evil stepmother yes yes and then we got a book sleeve so we got Maleficent and we got Ursula on here and it says so many curses so little time and then it says it says Ursula the sea witch um, it says a bit a bit devilish <laughs> so this is pretty cool I love this this is my third book sleeve that I gotten oh and it's like great quality and inside it's purple but yes this is really nice like I am in love with this Oh, and you also have a Snow White stepmother on here, which and it says um, "Evil Queen" right there. So you got her, Ursula, Maleficent. So this is really cute. Ah! And then we have a bookmark. It's and it said it's from the Little Mermaid. Life's full of tough choices, in it. <laughs> and there you have. Ursula at the top and this is for this was designed from for the dreamers design literary inspired bookmarks so that's pretty neat oh this is cute this is really cute I like this bookmark the next thing we got oh it's like an art print of Maleficent and it says listen well all of you the princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all who know her. But before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. <laughs> and y'all should know that is a specific quote from the Sleeping Beauty movie, the animated movie. And also from the, you know, the one that has Angelina Jolie in it as well. That's starring, that was starring Malefic Maleficent. So uh, this is really nice. I like this art print. That's really pretty. I'm so excited with this box. I was, they were like, you only have, there's only like three left. So you better hurry up and get it. And I was like, okay, let's hurry up and order. Like hurry. But like, I like this, like this, I, this is my favorite though. I like this book sleeve and the art print is gorgeous. So yes, so I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing of the first box that I have with the little goodies inside. I really like Book Gizmo. They, they have like create such 
really pretty book sleeve. So definitely check out Book Gizmo for sure. They even were in the, they even had, um, they created a book sleeve for um, the Beacon Box, the August Beacon Box as well. So that was pretty cool too. It was the pirate type of theme. But yeah, so yes, definitely check Book Gizmo out. The next thing is, um, let's do the unpackaging first. This is from Candlewick Press. This is the packaging. Let's see what's this. And it's Zora and Me, The Curse, the Cursed Ground by T.R. Simon. Oh, okay. I won this off of Goodreads from uh, the giveaways. And I thought this was really neat. It's an arc, which is my second arc that I, I own now. And I like really thought of this as middle grade. And let's read the back of it, see what it says more about the book. It says, a riveting fictionalized account of Zora Neale Hurston's childhood adventures explores the idea of collective memory and the lingering effects of slavery. When Zora and her best friend Carrie discover that the town mute can speak after all, they think they've uncovered a big secret. But Mr. Polk's silence is just one piece of a larger mysterious puzzle that stretches back half a century to the tragic story of an enslaved girl named Lucia or Lucia. As Zora's curiosity leads a reluctant Carrie deeper into the mystery and Lucia's and Carrie's stories unfolds in alternating, alternating narratives, Award-winning author T.R. Simon champions the strength of a people to stand up for justice. Um, it says T.R. Simon um, is the co-author with Victoria Bond of the 2011 John Steptoe New Talent Author Award winner Zora and Me. She lives in Westchester County, New York. So, wow, this is really cool. I'm so excited to read this. Like, especially like for my daughter, when she gets a little older, she can read something like this. So I'm really excited. And this book is going to be available in September. I'm not sure when in September, but all it says is that will be available September 2018. So definitely look out for this if you are interested into, you know, stuff like this, especially when it comes to Zora Neale Hurston and her adventures and everything like that. So yeah, this is really cool. I'm going to definitely... I might definitely fly through this. This is only about 300 pages. So definitely looking forward to this. But yes, thank you, Goodreads. <laughs> and thank you, Candlewick Press. <laughs> the next unboxing that I have, which I'm super excited for, and the very first box that I have purchased, this is also a single uh, one-time purchase that I did with this uh, book box because I wanted to know how if I would like it or not and if I should continue. So this is just, I'm not subscribed. This is just one-time purchase. And this, and it is... Fay Crate! Oh, it's so beautiful. It's all purple. Ah. It sort of like goes with the theme of like the my first unboxing of the book Gizmo because that purple and purple. Ah. But let's go. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh, it says Caution. Magic inside. That's pretty cool. And then it says, let's live a thousand lives together. Yay. Okay, let's go ahead and get started now. I can't wait any longer. Ah. And this is what it looks like on the inside, you guys. All these smutzes I just uh, can't stand, but I let my daughter play with them. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done playing. All right, so let's do this one first. Looks like a little jar. It says, it's my story, so clearly I'm the hero. And then what's inside of this? It says, congratulations, here are a few tips to enhance your enjoyment of your new plastic drinkware. This product uses food grade plastic material, BPA free. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you. I can use pretty much anything. This could also be my TBR jar I might use. So yeah. Oh, it's a little thing you drink out of. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was just a jar. All right, that, that makes sense. So let me help do this right now. <laughs> I'm just thinking it's a jar, but it's actually a little thing you could put drinks in. There we go. Voila. Oh man, this, I love this, but let's continue on. I see something to wear and it says, 
You must protect those who can't defend themselves. Ooh. Uh -huh. And it's um, V-neck. Can you see it? Anybody, can you see it? <laughs> oh, this is cute. I like this. Ah. Sorry, you can hear my son in the background. <laughs> He's a little tired. And then it looks like we have goodies. It says Caramel uh, Caramel Shop. Kalina Yilmaz Sweeps. Sweets Candy Shop. It's a Fae, a Fae Crate exclusive. So it's like little treats, I guess. Or sweets. That's pretty cool. Hmm, definitely gonna eat one of these and see what they taste like. Then we have something, to, a jewelry. It says, let's live a thousand lives together. We have this. Oh, this is pretty. I really like this. Like, look at it. Uh, I think it's a bracelet. Yeah, it's a bracelet. It's really pretty. I like this, you guys. So far, this box is awesome. And then, oh, okay. And the theme is Deadly Dames. So that's cool. <laughs> Deadly Dames. And then let me see. Um, this just shows like the Faye post and everything like that. So I'm not going to read that. But yes, Deadly Dames is the theme of this box. Okay, and the shirt was um, was designed by Bliss Blissfully Bookish Company. So this is also gives me a 10% off discount for my next um, order when I go on their website. But there's the card. Then I have a bookmark. It says, in spite of everything, what? Okay, in spite of everything, I do it all over again. There's the bookmark. Oh, is it pretty? It's like watercolor. I really like this. Oh, this is really pretty. Like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. I need to stop. <laughs> and then it looks like we have a candle. It says, Little Red Bird. Nina Zinix, a strawberry and waffles. Mmm, it does smell like strawberry and waffles. Mmm, that smells, oh my god. It smells so good, you guys. This is what it looks like. But, oh my god. This smells so good. <laughs> and there you go. What it says right there. Little red bird. Then, ooh, we got a keychain. Let's see, go ahead and open it. And it's like, oh, it's a wand, you guys. Yeah, it's a wand. <laughs> I like this. This is really nice. It looks like Hermione's wand, actually. But I'm not sure. If y'all know, let me know. But here's a closer look up of it. This is real cool. Oh, I love this. And then, and then time for the book, you guys. And the book that's in this box is Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker. I'm glad that I got this book. I was about to buy it. I'm glad I didn't. I really am glad I didn't. I was literally at Barnes and Noble like yesterday. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, I'm gonna wait because I don't know what's in my fake crate box but I'm so excited that I got this book you guys I've heard a lot about this book uh, especially like sisterhood is survival by Natalie C Parker like I'm just I heard a lot about this this is one of my anticipated books of the year um let's go ahead and read the synopsis of it so you can get a little gist of what it's about and for me too I don't really know much of it uh, says the first in a heart-stopping trilogy that recalls the undeniable feminine power of Wonder Woman and the pound powder keg action of Mad Max Fury Road, Seafire um, Sea follows the captain of an all-female ship intent of taking down a vicious warlord's powerful fleet. After her family is killed by corrupt warlord Eric Athar and his bloodthirsty army of bullets, Caledonia st Sticks is left to chart 
her own course on the dangerous and deadly seas. She captains her ship, the Moors Navis, with a crew of girls and women just like her who have lost their families and homes because of, the, because of Eric and his men. The crew has one mission, stay alive and take down Eric's armed and armed, armored fleet. But when Caledonia's best friend and second in command barely survives an attack, thanks to help, thanks to help from a bullet looking to defect, Caledonia finds herself questioning whether to let him join their crew. Hmm, let me let me re like reread that. But when Caledonia's best friend and second in command barely survives an attack, thanks to help from a bullet looking to defect, uh, Caledonia finds herself questioning whether to let him join their crew. Is this boy the key to taking down Eric Athair once and for all? Or will he threaten everything the women of the Moors Navis have worked for? Hmm. This is very interesting. I'm looking forward to this. All girls crew. Yes. Yes, women. Let's do it. And then let's look at here. Oh, look at the pages. Oh, that's just beautiful, you guys. Oh. And then let's look here when it's naked. This is black. And then you have this. Oh, so beautiful. I love it, you guys. I love it. I'm so glad I got this box. I was like questioning if I should get it and I'm glad I did because I really wanted this book and I'm glad this book was in this box. <laughs> and then let's see what this is. This is also in the box. Okay, we got a signed book plate. And then it says, and this is um, a letter from the author. And it says, Dear readers, I'm so excited to be writing to you today, and doubtly so, to be included in Fake Rate's Deadly Dames box. Seafire is certainly full of them, though they are more deadly when they act together, and I'll tell you why. When I was a kid, any book that took a group of unlikely companions and tossed them on the path to adventure would have, be, would have me reading by flashlight after bedtime. I love the idea of traveling. Uh, through extraordinary lands and situations with a group of friends who would always have my back, who would come for me if I were captured, who would who would fight by my side when necessary. I still love those stories. In fact, I love them more than ever. But even as a child, I knew they were missing something powerful and essential, which is which was a girl squad. Uh, one of the most magical things about being a writer is that when you want to see something in the world, you can create it. I wanted to see more stories with girls supporting each other and having adventures, and that's what I did with Seafire. I dreamed up a dangerous world and a group of steel-hearted girls and gave them the adventure of a lifetime, and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to introduce to you Caledonia Sticks and her brave crew. I hope you enjoy reading Seafire, and welcome to the Bullet Seas. Uh, stay Steely, <laughs> NCP, which stands for Natalie C. Parker. Oh, wow. And then we have another piece of art, uh, art prints of the Deadly Dames. But yeah, that was all in um, August's Fake Crate box of the Deadly Dames theme. I'm so excited. I'm glad that I finally got Seafire, you guys. This is like amazing. I love this keychain, everything. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I did. And if you really like this video, also, leave me a comment down below and also give me a thumbs up and also hit subscribe as well and that bell so that you'll be notified when I put up more videos in the future. But please let me know if you have already read this book, what you thought about it. Um, give me your thoughts on this video. And also, if you just want to have a chat with me, go ahead and comment. But thank you so much, guys. See ya!